The movement that we're going to be reviewing today is how to do diaphragmatic breathing. Now sometimes this can be difficult because depending on how you're breathing and how your, your abdominal muscles are stabilized in the spine, these can get interrupted. Especially with everyday use and everyday patterns of our body based on what we do in everyday life. So a lot of times when people breathe, they do a lot of um, chest breathing. So that's when they come in. If you notice my, when I do that chest breathing, my shoulders are gonna move up towards my ears. What you want to do when you're working out or just in general is do a lot of more belly breathing. So the expansion coming out about 360 degrees and then coming back in, just like if you're blowing up a balloon and deflating a balloon, okay? Um, sometimes when we're doing core exercises, it can be difficult to control this. So we're gonna go ahead and do a drill right now to kind of get those um, lower muscles that are surrounding the spine activated to help protect us and build that foundation so when we apply it to anything more dynamic or any like rotational movements or any like heavier lifting we'll be able to properly activate those smaller muscles with our breathing. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and lie on the ground like so. We're going to go ahead and take one hand place it on the chest. The other one's going to go ahead and go right underneath the ribcage. That is where your diaphragm's at. We're gonna go ahead and take our hands before we start that and do a pelvic tilt. Then bring the hands back up, chest, and diaphragm. So we're gonna hold that pelvic tilt. Just like if we were, your pelvis was a bucket of water, we're closing the front part of the, the bucket so the water doesn't spill out. So I want you to think of it that way. So we're gonna take a deep breath in, and I want you to think you're expanding through here. There should barely be any movement in your chest. Deep breath in. Hold for about one to two seconds, big breath out. So then you want to draw your, draw your navel, navel to the back of the spine, just slightly. And we're going to keep working our way up to it as well. So deep breath in. Big breath out. And then you ground a little bit more just to make sure you're maintaining that pelvic tilt. And if you notice, as you progressively keep going, you'll be able to engage the lower abdominals a little bit more each time. One more time. And if you notice, my belly is lifting up and expanding. We want that expansion to happen because that is going to activate the diaphragm and make sure we're using the transverse abdominus, which is, goes from the top all the way down to the lower parts of your pelvic floor. We want to make sure those muscles activate before we start adding any load onto this. You can apply this as well to a plank, and we will go ahead and get into that with the next movement, as we're going to apply this breathing to a plank. Now, sometimes it can be difficult when you're applying it to other movements, when you're just starting off, so go ahead and do a couple sets of the breathing exercise, like five sets, or um, three, three sets of five to 10 reps with a deep breath in in for about three to four seconds. We hold for about one and big breath out for about three to four seconds. And we wanna draw that breath out and draw the belly navel in towards the spine with that expansion. And we wanna make sure we're not shrugging the shoulders up towards the ears or, um, the chest shouldn't expand first, it should always be the belly. So that is belly breathing. 